Hey guys, welcome back to a new Delta Force video. Um, sorry, my head is not really there yet. I was just meditating and then I got the message that Delta Force posted something on their X account. And actually what we were waiting for, they finally announced the early access release for the game. Or actually how they call it, the global open beta. It's kind of a strange name for an early access. Um, I thought that the open beta was actually Steam Next Fest and now we get an early access. But what they are writing on their X post is Delta Force Global Open Beta Previously Early Access launches for PC on December 5th, 2024. So a bit more than six weeks, I think, from now and we can get into the early access or maybe call it open beta if you will of Delta Force. This means there will be no more progression resets. So all the progress you make and all the skins you unlock and whatnot will stay forever and will also stay through to the full release of the game. Not so good for the console players of course and for the mobile players that start playing later on but maybe they find a solution here. I don't know. Let, let's see. Then we will see a regular content updates of course so new maps new operators new vehicles and more so we will get new content through the early access but also new content with the launch of the early access already we will see the game in more languages that it is available right now we will also get new server options whatever that means but we're gonna have a look at the steam store page later on that has a little bit more details and it is the beginning of the Genesis season. So the early access already starts with a season. And we also got a little clip or trailer or cinematic, however you want to call it. You can see it in the background. Throughout the video, I'll show you a little bit of this in the background. And this is a cinematic trailer, a story trailer that goes a bit into the lore of the game and what we're actually fighting for and what the whole background of the game is. But I'm gonna dive deeper into this in one of the next videos. So for now, we just stick to the early access and the details about it, because I think that's just the most interesting part today. And I'm really making this video live, so there's no script, nothing, just to get this out as soon as possible to you guys, because I think you are just as excited as I am about this and just waiting to finally get your hands on this full game and play something else than the same build over and over again. So there is the Steam page for the global open beta and we just read through it. So they're writing, dear operators, we have some great news to share. Thanks to the rapid progress of our development team and the positive reception we've had to our current builds, we're excited to announce that we're launching our global open beta previously called Early Access on December 5th for PC. This is our initial release version of Delta Force featuring full live service content updates and no more progress resets. So already full live service in the Early Access, that's uh, I think pretty good. Get ready to dive into Genesis, our first season in the open beta. Experience everything we have to offer, including a fresh face. So we get a new operator. One new operator joins the fray alongside the seven you've already met. So we will see the seven operators that we already had in the demo again at early access. And then one more, so it's eight in sum. New modes to play, experience brand new FPS gameplay. So I think it's just more modes for Havoc Warfare because I don't think that Hazard Operations gets any kind of modes because it is a mode by itself. Explore new battlegrounds, discover unique maps in both Havoc Warfare and Hazard Operations. So they already talked about two new maps that we will get in Havoc Warfare and one new map in Hazard Operations. And we've already seen this, that one map for Hazard Operations and we've seen one of the maps for Havoc Warfare, which is this map that looks a bit like a mix of Flashpoint and Redacted from Battlefield 2042. We will be rolling out new weapons, vehicles, appearances, UI, mechanics, servers, languages, and more over the next 44 days. Stay tuned. So I'm thinking we will get new details to all of this new content throughout the next 44 days. So they're a bit drip feeding us with this, but it's kind of nice. So there's always something to talk about. I'm not complaining about this. So here we can see it again, another overview. New maps for Havoc Warfare, new modes for Havoc Warfare as well, hazard operations, new maps. Oh, now they're saying maps. Okay, so it's probably more than just one. And new modes, okay. 
and one new operator, several new weapons, probably more than just the three that they're showing here, and a new vehicle, and I'm not gonna lie, this looks like a little bird right here. <laughs> Um, apparently we're getting another helicopter. And then we're diving into the frequently asked questions. When does the global beta launch? I think we got this by now, so December 5th, 2024. Is early access still happening? Our beta version will replace early access, so it's just called differently. And will feature full live service content updates and no more progress resets. Will there be paid content in the global open beta? This is a very good question. Yes, there will be paid content available for purchase in the global open beta, primarily battle passes, weapon appearances and vehicle appearances. However, there will be no pay to win elements. I've already done a full video about this, what we can expect in terms of microtransactions and cosmetics, so be sure to check this out if you haven't done yet. I have not found any pay to win elements so far. However, we also got a first tiny look at the battle pass, so be sure to check this out if you haven't seen it yet. What's new in the global beta compared to the next fest version? That's a very good question. Expect a ton of new content, <laughs> like maps, modes, operators, weapons and vehicles, along with major improvements to the gameplay, including better performance, bug fixes and a stronger anti-cheat system. That is very much needed, I would say. I mean, I, I didn't feel like we had that much of a cheater problem in the beta, but for a free-to-play game, it's definitely needed. But uh, they don't really want to give away that much here when it comes to the maps and modes and also to the operators and weapons and whatnot. They, they really like to keep the tension high. Does the global beta support controllers? I think this question was clarified already earlier. They said it will be added later on. So controller support is currently not available in the global open beta, but it's under development and will be added soon. So to add something to this, in a former Q&A, they said that the controller support for PC will be added alongside the console release, because only by then they're done with like how the controller has to work in the game. And then the last question is, when will the game be available on consoles and mobile? And we know this already, console and mobile versions are planned for a Q1 2025 release. So the early access or open beta is planned for only a few months. And then in Q1 2025, it's planned to fully release the game for PC, also for console and mobile alongside of this and also with all the three parts that the game is supposed to have at the end. So Hazard Operations, Havoc Warfare and the single player campaign. And that was everything I have for you today. I think that's good news, they're drip feeding us a little bit with the details, but I think that's all right. There's always something to talk about, it leaves a few things open for me to talk about as well and for us to speculate maybe a little bit what the new operator may be. Looks like it will be another female character just from the silhouette it has. And yeah, we can also speculate about the weapons. So maybe you guys have an idea as to what this would be. For the heli, I would definitely say this is a little bird or night bird, however you want to call it. And yeah, that was it for today. Tell me what you think about all of this in the comments below. Tell me if you're excited about this or maybe you're not. And I'm gonna see you in the next one. I'm the Catwoman and you are awesome.